Chucky. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Laura. This is the Last Minute Laura channel. And when you come here, you can usually find me making something or doing something crafty. Today, I am going to be doing something crafty, which is I am going to be putting my friend's wedding bouquet into a shadow box. So a friend of mine got married a couple of months ago and she gave me her bouquet to preserve. I hung a bunch of the flowers up to dry, I pressed some of them in books, I laid some of them out to dry. Basically I did a whole bunch of experiments with how to dry flowers and um, most of them turned out okay. Uh, I had a few duds, like for example, I wasn't able to make a peony flat preserve it molded so that was a bummer but anyway that's neither here nor there what we're at today is i have everything dry all of the flowers that i'm going to be using all of the greenery here it's all dry and it's all ready to sort of be positioned into a bouquet and glued down and i thought i would bring you along for this part i didn't film myself drying the bouquet or uh, breaking the flowers off of their stems but i'll show you some of the flowers that i dried um, and some of the things that happened that was desirable or undesirable. We'll get an overhead shot and then eventually we'll sort of position them on this shadow box background, try not to make them too tall, and then we'll secure them down with pins and with hot glue. And then hopefully we will end up with something really pretty. I also have here uh, like a bra cup from a bathing suit and I thought I could use that possibly as a uh, like a like a foundation so that the bouquet sort of comes out in like a convex concave sort of convex so it comes out a little bit you know what I'm trying to say uh, better than if they're just straight flat I could kind of have them stuck around it so that's just an idea um, I've also already sort of organized how many things I want to use in this anyway let's get overhead and then I'll show you what I'm kind of thinking Okay, so this is something that I kind of positioned ahead of this where I was just sort of fiddling around and I kind of like this setup in terms of there's a few big things in the front and the middle and then there's like greenery on the angles. I don't know. We'll see how it ends up being laid out, but this is something I'm kind of interested in keeping. So I took a picture of it, of it on my phone to kind of remember how it looks. Um, something that I learned in this process is roses are way too fat to dry and also put in a shadow box. So some of the perfect roses, I dried them upside down and they st stayed nice and creamy white like this. But some of them I wanted to have it open more like this, but I had to remove quite a few petals to get like an open flower. Pressing them flat to dry didn't work at all for me. I had zero luck with that. The only ones where I had any luck at all were the smaller sizes. When I did the larger roses in a book like this, it molded. Every single one failed for me, but the little ones seemed to do okay pressed in a book. You can see these are okay. They're dry, but still they didn't retain as much of their green as the things that were hung upside down to dry. See how much more green there is there? Something else that I found uh, interesting and kind of crappy, honestly. Um, there was a really beautiful pale purple rose in her uh, bouquet and all of them turned this really dark gray and dark brown. This is the prettiest one. And this is, I mean, it's beautiful, yes, but it's not the color that the rose was. The rose was like this really muted purple. And I think Maybe you can see some purple bits, but it's mostly gone gray. So that's the only thing that I feel like I wish that the purple had stayed a little more. Every one of the other colors is still really beautiful. There was like this beautiful blush pink baby rose and these turned out amazing. I dried these in my dehydrator. So it has still that blush pink to it. And there was purple, little purple roses too. And these ones still have some purple to them. Anyway, I don't really know what I'm planning on. I didn't plan how to film this. So I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna pull everything off of this board. There's like a fabric board here. Um, and I'm going to kind of just look at what the background layer is. So I'm gonna move the frame over. This is just a guide for how tall it can be because this is how deep the shadow box is. So let's start there. 
Okay, so this is basically the greenery I've decided on. There was so much to choose from here. Lots of these grasses, lots of this beautiful white. It's not baby's breath, but same kind of energy. And then there's these pretty little sort of straw flowers. They're so pretty. And I want to use everything, but it looks too busy and I keep having to pull back. So I have, this is what I ended up with out of all that stuff. I've just ended up with just a few bits of greenery and they're like in the periphery, but in the bouquet, it wasn't all greenery. There was a lot of flowers. So I think that it's gonna be okay that, I think it's right that there's not as much because I just think it'll look too busy in the final product if, if there's, if it's all the way green, I feel like we need some white space behind it. So this is my, this is my general idea for the greenery part. So I'm gonna just take this stuff off now and then I'm gonna just sort of sweep down the board. Ugh, I don't even wanna take this off. This is exactly how I want it, but I wanna clean the board off. Oh, I'm so smart. Okay, I actually got two of these frames, one for myself and then one for my friend. One sec, I'm gonna get the other one and then we can be gluing it onto there. That way I don't have to move it. I wonder if the microphone catches the cicadas. It's cicada time and you can hear them outside. All right, so this is the board that we'll be sticking stuff onto. Do you think I should change anything? I feel like the greenery is pretty and I can glue all of that stuff in place and then get to the flower part. Is this, this is not a tutorial. This is just watch me do this. Um, by the way, my decor already includes one of these things. This is, or was my grandma's. And look how pretty it is. It's just so simple, but it's so pretty and I love it on my wall. So that's, I'm hopeful that this is gonna be like that for my friend. Okay, so yeah, let's just do it. Let's just dive in. I'm so nervous. I've gotta let you know, I've had this bouquet for well over a month now. I'm gonna say I've had it for six weeks. And for four of those weeks, I've had them it on my work desk where I've just been fiddling around with the flowers. It's just been an ongoing, fiddling around. So it feels like I'm just jumping into it, but I've been staring at this for a very long time. So I think, I think I'm ready to go. There were these beautiful ribbons with her bouquet, but I want to incorporate this into the board as well. But I already washed it and pressed it. So it is ready to go. Maybe I'll just put it like right across the middle. I feel like it might be better just with the white. I know the pink is beautiful, but I kind of think it might, might take away from like there's only one pink flower and I think that the pink competes for this pink, but if it's on its own, it shows more pink. Do you know what I mean? Like these are beautiful in pink, but if they're competing with a bright pink, I don't think they'll be as pretty. So that's what I think. Which side is up this side? So do we put it right up against the edge or do we give it a bit of a border? I think maybe a bit of a border might be better. Maybe even across the diagonal might be nice. That's kind of pretty, I think. All right, so next step is to get that background of plants on here. Let's start by bringing over all the flat stuff, I think, the flattest flat stuff. Okay, so this is good. Just probably have to move a couple of things around for balance. But I think that it's mostly good. And then I'm gonna start gluing it down. I don't know why I'm so nervous about it. It feels like so, oh, it feels so scary. But I think that's pretty. That's a good background. Not too busy. Yeah, it's good. So I guess now I'm just gonna piece by piece glue them in place. All right, so far so good. I feel okay about it. But wow, is it ever nerve wracking actually sticking it down. Like I said, it's been on my counter for like a month. It's literally been on my work desk, like in my way for a month. I've just been staring at it 
and changing a little bit every day, moving something out of it, adding another piece to it. And I just feel so, <laughs> like it's so final now once I stick it down. So even though in reality it was not months of work, it feels like I've been working on it for a month. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. All right, this is looking good. I haven't used a glue gun in like a decade. I think that's also part of the stress is that I am also remembering how to use a glue gun. It's not that it's hard, I just haven't done it in a long time and like muscle memory is not there. So I did like a flat layer and then after the flat layer, we'll have like a 3D layer of flowers. My thoughts are that it's like three layers. Main front layer, a 3D backup layer, and then the flat background layer. I think that's almost good for the background. And then it's going to be time to move into the foreground flowers, or at least the peripheral foreground flowers. Alrighty, I think that is that. I think we've done the background. Oh no, sorry, one more of these. Okay, now we're gonna move into these side flowers. I have a couple of flat flowers, like actually pressed ones. I know that carnation needs to fit there. I think it might be easier to put the big flowers in next and then to tuck the, the extra flowers, to tuck them around. You know what I mean? Oh, right, and then I had the idea. I don't know if it's a good idea so that it could be like, this but i don't know it might be too tall that it like brings it 3d a little bit but anyway that was the idea of it is that it would be a little bit rounded like a bouquet but i don't think it, it's necessary really i'm just gonna mutter to myself don't mind me as i figure out where all of these flowers go actually that looks pretty that looks really nice i think i like that it's a good view and then i'll be able to tuck in other flowers in the periphery so let's do that. I think this one is a good place to start. I'm gonna give these guys a big old glob of glue. We don't want them to ever move. Okay, and then we'll do the pink one up there. Okay, so there's layer number two. That's like our foreground. Now it's time to shove extra flowers in the little ones. Let's do that now. For this part, I'm gonna be kind of working in the periphery, not like in the main front, more the side stuff. And I've got a whole bunch of these cute little pink roses that I'm gonna just sort of tuck in. See how it's looking? Secure. Um, I kind of love it. I'm kind of obsessed. Okay, I think it's going well. I think we're doing good so far. <sighs> this has been actually a lot of fun if I just ignore the parts of me that are super stressed about it. Okay, I think we need a little bit more of this pretty grass. 
I want to try and add another one of these leaves also because it was pretty dominant in her bouquet. So I think it would be a good thing to have lots of. Okay. And I'm thinking we can just tuck it back here. Okay. Now, the question, do we want another carnation in here? We could tuck it back there. Just a little side carnation action. Don't want it to be like too much, you know? I think that's okay. I don't think it makes it too much to have the carnation there. So let's do that. I think we're almost done though, right? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to all of the spots where there's like glue bits and I'm gonna cover them with individual leaves <laughs> because I want this to be the most amazing thing in the whole world. So I'm gonna make it a little bit extra. Plus it makes me feel good to do the freaking most. Alrighty, here's what she's looking like right now. I think, I think, I think, I think it's pretty much done. I don't think there's any super off balanced areas. I'm trying to decide where to stick this last little rose. I can't not put it in. It's just so cute. Look how cute this little rose is. Okay. <sighs> I don't know why it feels so stressful. Okay, I think, I think it's done. Just gonna add a few dabs of glue at places that look a little too loose. And I'm just gonna fiddle around and get the rest of the loose bits of glue. And after that, it's gonna be time to put this thing into its frame. I think that's it. What do you think? I think there's enough greenery. I'm wondering if I need to add any more greenery. I think that's it. It's hard to decide, you know? I mean, I can always add to it later, I guess, but do we need just a little more greenery? All right, I think that's it. I'm calling it. She's done and she's beautiful, right? It's done, right? It doesn't need any more things. One, two, three, okay. I think we're good. So these tufts of grass, weren't these pretty? But I feel like it was too much to just have them. Actually though, maybe a short little tuft. Okay. Okay, now that's it. <laughs> now it's done. I'm just gonna trim these a little. Don't want them to cover all the yellow. Okay, so there's the top. And then middle and the bottom oh gosh let me get this thing into the frame so we can see what it looks like actually up so here's the frame flowers oh gosh it looks really good okay let me put it up against a wall just to like or on a wall we'll hang it for a sec i think it looks really good what do you think? Probably won't be hung up that high on her wall, but I think that came out really, really pretty. What do you think? Does that look like a pretty wedding bouquet? Ah, I'm so happy about it. Okay, so that's it for today, friends. I made a preserved bouquet with dried flowers. I hope you liked it. Ah, I really like it. I hope my friend likes it. It's, I think that she will. I think the vibe is good. What do you think? Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And thank you so much to my patrons, all of you supporting me on Patreon this month. I really do appreciate you guys. Here is the names of all of the people who are supporting me on there. And if you'd like to join my Patreon, the links are in the description box down below this video. Anywho, friends, that is all from me for today. I hope you had a good time and I'll see you next week. Bye!